Chairman yields. Gentleman from South Carolina, Mr. Timmons, is now recognized for five minutes. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Chair Gensler, thank you for being here today. It's um, good to see you again. Yes, sir. Uh, it, it, the SEC's onslaught of rulemaking, I, I think, is severely impeding U.S. markets in the name of protecting investors from themselves. Uh, your regulatory approach is an insult to the intelligence of Americans and their ability to make risk-based decisions when investing. Uh, Quite frankly, we've never seen market particip participation at the levels we see today. The current ecosystem represents a thriving financial sector where people, no matter their income levels, have access to investment opportunities previously unseen in, in human history. And th this is why I struggle to rationalize why uh, the SEC continues down uh, this warpath of rushed and um, quickly written proposed rules. I, I could go down the list and probably name dozens of proposals that I think are too broad and they lack quantitative analysis or have reduced comment periods, but I'm just going to talk about a couple of them. So on December 14th of 2022, the SEC released four proposals that would overhaul the regulations uh, governing equity markets. These proposals make sweeping changes to how national market system uh, stock orders are priced, executed, and reported. This is despite the fact that there is no indication of a market failure that would warrant such a sweeping overhaul of the U.S. equity markets. Traditionally, regulatory agencies introduce new regulations in response to market failures or when directed by Congress. Regulators tailor solutions to address the specific problems identified. However, with these proposals, there's no clear need for change in, in the market, nor has Congress uh, mandated such sweeping reforms. The SEC cites the October 2021 SEC staff report on meme stocks as a rationale for the proposed rulemaking. However, the report does not recommend any equity market structure reforms. To this point, you have repeated uh, this buzz phrase, the playing field isn't level. Uh, but you haven't explained what that means or cited how it harms investors. Investors have the best user experience and the lowest costs in history. Uh, the industry says you're just picking favorites between exchanges versus wholesalers and that retail investors may not actually benefit from these proposals. So, so that was my long intro. Um, how concerned should we be about the potential for increased costs to investors, especially in scenarios where retail brokers may need to reinstate commissions due to changes like the suggested increase in, pri in price improvement? Um, the proposals were put out to address individual problems, but um, they really are about driving greater competition and efficiency. Right now, our equity markets on any given day, depends on the stock, between 30 and 50 percent is not uh, in the lit markets. It's being traded in what's called the dark markets. And so we're trying to bring more competition in that. One of the rules actually has a tremendous amount of support in the comment file for many market participants is about lowering the minimum increment uh, you can trade at, a penny down to a half a penny, for instance, and things like that. So we're looking at these comments and we're looking through to update our rules. So currently, uh, tens of thousands of Americans can trade for free and at their fingertips. Um, do you think that your proposal will uh, result in the reintroduction of commissions? Uh, Zero commission does not mean it's necessarily for free. There's a lot of things that are going on behind. When you send a market order, that's a very sweet order because most investors doing 100 shares are not going to invest another 100 shares or another 10,000 shares behind it. it. It's going to result in increased fees for the people that currently have no fees. But uh, Actually, what our economic analysis shows that in each of these roles, it would benefit uh, we believe that the uh, benefits are significant. Sorry, so you're, you're saying that if this rule goes into effect that the people that are currently trading for free will not have to pay commissions? Because I think they will have to because that's how the market's going to inevitably function. You're not going to be able to continue providing um, free trades if this rule goes into effect. Actually, again, there's, there's separate rules, but the one I was talking about is in terms of lowering the minimum increment, there's a lot of support for uh, the other rules as well to say that brokers have to give their clients best execution seems pretty straightforward to many of us. I just think that if we're going to try to provide inclusion and participation in the markets for all Americans, um, we need to do uh, this with a scalpel and not a sledgehammer. And I think you've been taking a sledgehammer uh, during your time uh, at the SEC. With, with that, Mr. Chairman, I yield back. Thank you. 